EU now has a very strong negotiating uh, position when the countdown to Copenhagen now has started. A position that enables European Union to continue taking lead in the negotiations, a position that encourages others to deliver. We can say now that we are in a position to drive the momentum towards Copenhagen. Honestly, I think we are now at a very, very critical moment. There are many people that believe that the Copenhagen summit is at risk. I think, and uh, we, we think, that we can indeed make it a success. And the European Union uh, is um, taking this leadership role very seriously. When it comes to um, uh, the discussions with some of the member states, as I uh, pointed out, we made it uh, voluntary to um, uh, give resources to the fast start money and we have put up a working group um, to say that we will look into the internal burden sharing which will also reflect the ability to pay so there you could say we have taken into account that there are differences uh, between our member states that's how, how we solved it internally that does not mean being naive our offers are not a blank check we are ready to act if our partners deliver if we want developing countries to come to the table with serious commitments, then we need developed countries to put money on the table for adaptation to climate change and to help finance developing countries' mitigation efforts. We need to put our money where our mouth is. And today the European Council has fully endorsed the figures put forward some weeks ago by the Commission, that by 2020, developing countries will need around 100 billion euros a year to tackle a climate change. The European Union accepts that it will pay its fair share of this. Given the reactions from Prague to the deal, I'm confident that the Czech president will sign soon. Now we have one last obstacle to pass, that is the Czech Constitutional Court. The presidency is ready to act as soon as this happens, and the road to final ratification of the treaty is now open. The leaders of the member states, political leaders of the member states yesterday evening failed because they uh, did not really make progress on uh, offering their contributions for international climate finances. 